This is the Horizon saltwater fuel cell and it's going to need trying to open it. It really is difficult. cheat and use a knife. Okay. So we have an assembly guide, a list of products, a CD with all the different programs on, and then inside let's see what we've got. We've got a salt water fuel cell, we've got some leads, a little white piece of plastic, we've got three leads, two red, one black, We've got a base for this. We've then got a base for the fan. Which probably has a simple push on. No, it doesn't. So what it's going to be, it's going to have this little clip on there and that little clip on there so that can be powered I've got a syringe five centimeter cube and then I've got another spare plate by the looks of things and that's Tied in. Let's have a look. So there we are. There's another. There's a plate. And we've got a little measuring cylinder. And that's everything inside. Let's move that out of the way and we can have a look at the assembly guide. So it tells me I've got the fuel cell, which is that one. We've got the salt water fuel cell base. We've got the fan module, the fan. So that's all the bits I want. It says I've got basically three leads, two 20 centimetres long and one 10 centimetre long. I have three the same length. I'll also need distilled hot water at a temperature at 90 centigrade, 50 grams of salt and a balance. And I'm going to weigh out 15 milligrams of salt using scales, put the salt into the graduated container, add 25 centimetre cubed of hot water, around about 90 centigrade, mix it with a spoon until the salt's entirely dissolved. Okay. Prepare the fuel cell, take the salt water out of the packaging. Note the blue plastic top of the salt water fuel cell extends below the lip of the salt water cell. Squeeze both these blue sections at the same time to remove the plate. OK. Insert the fuel cell cathode into the base of the tank. 
so I can remove this I presume then this is going to be the cathode I'd be happy if that was less wobbly and a little slightly tighter fit so we're then going to put the water in and we're going to see what happens connect wires to it see if the fan works okay so we can try different salt concentrations different temperatures and different fuel volumes and see if we can get it working okay so let's have a go so I have set up here a small salt solution about 25 mils and we've got everything ready to go so let's now fill up with a few mils they suggest about 15 mils so let's put in three dollops here of salt water solution with only 15 milligrams in the, the water it's not actually very strong and then what we want to do is we want to pop in the plate connect to the red and we can connect the black and off it goes So it spins basically quite effectively and this is just a salt water cell just with salt water and we're providing here sufficient power for this little fan to go. The wires are not bending very well. So we can see this salt water cell. So works highly effectively. Salt water powering this and this will go according to the instructions for a few hours. When we want it to stop all we need to do is pull the levers in here and pull out the magnesium plate and we're done and then all we need to do is wash the magnesium plate and our experiment's over. There we are, salt water fuel cell.